Hello everyone and welcome to Stamp Around the UK and we're on the 1st of March. Um, this year seems to be galloping past and this month's challenge, and it really was a challenge, was to make a card using three neutrals and a bright. And I'd been struggling with this, trying to work out a colour combination I wanted to use and then I was in the process of sorting out a class for uh, one of my groups that I do on Zoom every month and it's a product class and we're using the hedgehogs this month so um and i've literally just finished doing the class now on zoom and so these are the cards we made and then we made a nice one with some balmy blue with a little birdie there that we absolutely adore and then um stamping up had posted how to make a lovely gatefold card sort of offset um in the landscape style and i really like that and then i was working on this one and then i suddenly realized that we had Mossy Meadow, neutral, Early Espresso, neutral, Crumb Cake, another neutral, so that's three neutrals, and Poppy Parade, which is bright. So I was like, oh my goodness, I've already designed this card, <laughs> I've already made this card, and uh, I can share it with you lot. So, so I'll put four Stamping Around UK. So, here we go. So uh, I've used the Hedgehog stamp set and punch and I've also used this sentiment which I used from the Turtle and Friends set which I've also used um, in a product class with this group of girls that I work with on a Saturday morning once a month. So um, I thought I'd show you how I made this card today. So as I said we've got Mossy Meadow and we've got uh, basic white, so that's like four neutrals now. <laughs> so it's like loads of neutrals. Um, it just shows that these challenges actually, if you just sit back and forget about it for a while, you suddenly realise you've done it. Um, so, and I've mixed the colouring as well. So I've done some of the colouring in blends, and I've already got those out. And I'm also going to curry, colour our mushroom in... Um, poppy parade which is a bright that's actually real red and what one of my ladies suggested because i've just invested in these i can find this again um shimmery crystal effects and i have never used them before and while we were in the class she was saying i'm going to use some shimmery crystal effects on that mushroom and i was like right walk me through it so don't think i've quite got it right yet because it's still a little bit bumpy but i'm really pleased the way it really makes that mushroom literally pop out and it's all sparkly and so that's a suggestion if you want to have a go at that after you've done the rest of your coloring then you can once the ink has dried add your shimmery um, effects and get to really highlight that mushroom right so i think this is going to be out a lot i'm going to be doing a lot of playing with this until i get the hang of it so Right, so I've already cut out all the pieces. So it is an A6 um, tenfold card, which is 10 and a half by 28 point something, uh, 29 point something. Anyway, it's a half a sheet of A4 scored at 14.85. So that's my card blank. And then I've got two um, mats here in basic white. And these are... 13.9 centimeters by nine and a half centimeters and then i've got a scrap of white because i'm going to actually do my hedgehog in um on white card and color him in and then i've got the sentiment piece already cut out and then a little piece to uh, mount that on so the sentiment piece is from so so sweetly and the little piece let me just measure is five and a half by eight and a half and that will just mount on there and give a nice little even background all the way around the side which i really like so let's do some stamping so i'm going to start with my hedgehog and i'm going to stamp him in memento because i am going to be using some alcohol inks on him and i don't want him to smudge so, and we'll just get, and this is the large hedgehog who's going on the white. Okay, I'm just going to ink him up. There we go. And pop him on the page, just there. There we go. 
on the basic white on the basic white rather and I'm just going to color him in so I'm using the dark for his bristles so I'm just going in I'm just gently coloring excuse my head I'm gonna miss the ears I do love using the alcohol blends because everything it does space out and just doing the spiky bits So there's the top of our hedgehog, and then I'm going to use my lighter one and come in. Excuse me, I think I am. <laughs> Excuse me, sneezing. Right, so I'll just colour his body in. So it just gives it a bit more detail than just doing it straight onto the crumb cake and relying on the crumb cake to give all his colour. Okay, so. I'm just going to colour in his legs. And there we go. So that is our hedgehog. And I'm just going to grab my hedgehog at the front, which is here. And I'm just going to slide that in. Oops. <laughs> slide it down. And as you know, when I'm doing punching, and I think it's quite a common technique that we do, you need to do really. Line it up, get everything where you're absolutely happy, hold it and check and then punch it out, okay? So and the two little holes there are for eyes, I think, um, although I've not actually used them as such as yet. So, all right, so now I'm going to focus on the little, the second piece, how cute is he? And I'm just going to stamp in the Mento Black again. This time I'm going to stamp the Mushroom. is here okay so again just inking it up the memento black inks aren't as good well they are as good they're not as juicy that's the word i'm looking for so they're not as juicy i'm very shadowy today <laughs> wow i've actually got the curtains closed that's probably why because the sun is just beaming in it breaks my heart to close those curtains but it was all sort of uneven over my desk and uh, very little space that I can move, so I had to cover it up just while I did this video, which is probably why the shadows are all over. So, um, I'm now going to use the Mossy Meadow to colour in our grass. Now, um, and I'm going to use the bullet end and just put little strokes so it actually looks like grass. Okay, so just filling in. There we go. And then I'm going to use the darker of the crumb cake and I'm going to fill in underneath the mushroom in the darker. And then the edges, the sort of edges of the stalk. I suppose it is a stalk in the dark and then we're coming in with the light and then I'm going to blend those edges in so we're getting a little bit of depth there on the mushroom and then I'm going to get my treasured markers out these are really worth it if you're getting your order up to a stage where you can get a half price item these are the things you need to buy they are so useful it's got all our colors in except the ink colors and i adore it so that doesn't look very red that's because it's calypso coral <laughs> here's my brights and let's see poppy parade we've got the poppy parade pen yeah, it's a colour. And you can mix your alcohols and your water-based pens. Obviously, they're not going to blend together very well. Now, do your alcohol first so it doesn't make that your... So it dries quicker and your pens don't bleed. So, 
but how lovely is that? It's just that bright, just picking out the, the top of the fairy mushroom. So I'm taking my time because I don't want to, I want to keep the white spots. And also if you are going to use the glossy accents on your mushroom, I would let it dry. Give it a few hours for your colour to definitely dry before you start adding them because you don't want it to run. As I say, I'm not an expert on this. Do correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but my gut feeling is that your ink needs to have dried before you start adding it. So, there we go. So, beautiful. So, I'm just going to get the sentiment to put on there. So, as I said, I've used the Hello Little One from the Turtles. Because I thought this would make a really pretty for, um, new baby card. Um, seem to be seeing a few arriving at the moment. I'm of an age now when my friends are becoming grandparents, <laughs> which is always fabulous. I was checking out recording then, I didn't remember switching it on. That is the sort of error, sort of error I do make, unfortunately. So I'm just lining this up in the corner here. we go hello little one and then I'm going to add my little hedgehog putting that away so and actually he's not the little hedgehog he's the bigger hedgehog because there is a smaller hedgehog so I'm saying this is Mr Hedgehog and this is Mrs Hedgehog we have here so I am going to add the bottom hedgehogs here so what I did was <clears throat> I did the first one in the middle. You could do this with your stamp apparatus if you wanted. Um, I did my first one in the middle and then stamped the other two either side. So to find the middle, um, this is 13.9 centimeters, so it's about 14 centimeters. So if I line it up with the 27 line, the 20 centimeter line is the middle of the card. Okay. Just going to lift that up so not 100% you can see all the way down there and if I put that straight and then I'm just going to stamp my hedgehog just there and then I'm going to stamp one in the middle on this side there and then one in the middle on this side and then we've got the three wise hedgehogs <laughs> visiting the baby. So, and again, I've done those in early espresso. So I, I've decided not to colour these in. I'm going to leave these blank. Okay, so quite a simple card using lots and lots of neutrals. And I'll start with this. So I'm just going to find my glue. Keep it lying down so it's near the top when I want to use it again. And that just goes with an even border all the way around the outside. And then I'm going to glue these two together. So now because I may well be posting this, I'm not going to do double dimensional. So I'm going to stick this flat down and then pop up my hedgehog on dimensionals. Okay. 
go. Just gonna pop that round about in the middle. I am eyeballing it. If you want to measure it, then you can do. And then some dimensionals to put on our little hedgehog. Don't worry with the alcohol blends. If your uh, ink comes through to the other side, that's because of the way the alcohol blends work, and that means that's why they do blend together really, really well. So as I say, I've joined up with a group of Stamping Up demonstrators. There's a few of us on here and everybody will be putting on a project with the same theme. So do pop down into the description below and that'll show you um, who else is taking part. Everybody's links are on there so you can hop along and have a look at everybody else's stuff. So, in the... True example of med the medical profession, professional watch one, uh, see one, do one, teach one. And um, this is the second time I have used glossy accents um, ever, not only the second time I've used them today. So what you need to do is you need to squeeze it out and then using the tip, spread it out across. And you don't flood it, but you do need quite a bit and if you get any bubbles, try and pop those out. Okay, so I'm just squeezing and swirling right to the edge of the image. And it doesn't seem to be picking up the colour, so hopefully I've left it so it's dry enough. Okay, and there we go. So I've just filled in that area. Trying to keep it as flat as possible. So I'm just, I think I've done it better that one. I was a bit more generous this time with it and I think it has gone a little bit more spread out. So I'm happy with that. So that needs to be set to one side to dry. And um, I don't know how long it takes to dry. This one I did this morning. Um, what are we now? So we are now 20 past one in the afternoon. So it's had about an hour. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. Um, I know I'm not going to have to mess with this now, so I'm just going to put it to one side. If you were, if you wanted to know whether or not it was dry, uh, what you could do is actually on a separate scrap piece of paper, just do a little swirl of it. And then you've got something you could test if you were wanting it quite quickly. Um, but I think it's nice just to let it dry. If you wanted to step it up a little bit, you could colour in your hedgehogs as well. Uh, but I'm just going to leave them like that. So uh, I'm quite happy with that card. So as I say, three neutrals and a bright. Um, not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I have enjoyed making this card. And um, if you haven't already subscribed, please um, click on the button below. And I'd love for you to leave some comments. Um, and um, if you can tick the thumbs up as well, that will be fine. It all helps in the algorithm. So good to see you again this month. Take care. See you soon. Bye.